Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to get a consolidated tabular format of our results in Jenkins using test result analyzer plugin and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So first I will go to my browser and go to Google and search for Jenkins test result analyzer plugin and here is the documentation page so let us go here and this is a plugin that you can use with your JUnit as well as testng results and this will provide a very good looking consolidated report for all your results so if i go to the documentation page you can see it says a plugin that shows history of test execution results in tabular format and you can use this with your JUnit as well as with your testng results and here is how this will look like so you will get a very good looking consolidated tabular format with results for all your builds here and then you can also click and go into the details from here and then you can also get some graphs here so these are the graphs that you will get and then uh, pie charts like this so this will be very easy and useful so let us see how this is done the first thing I will do is start my Jenkins and my Jenkins is already running on port 9191 so let me just go to my browser and say localhost 9191 and this will show me my Jenkins now in case uh, you are new to Jenkins you can watch the earlier videos on this playlist Selenium Java framework and in the earlier videos we have already seen how to set up Jenkins and how to set up a Jenkins job and in the last video we saw how to publish test engine results in Jenkins using the test engine results plugin so this is a continuation from there and in this particular a job we have already done the setup so you can watch that let me also copy this link and make it available in the notes and all these notes will be available in the description or notes section of this video so now the Jenkins is up the very first thing is I will go to manage Jenkins and I will go to manage plugins and here I will go to the available section and in the available section I will search for test result analyzer plugin so uh, let me just search for analyzer and here you can see we have got a result test result analyzer I will check this and say install without restart so this will install the plugin and you can see the plugin is installed now if you already have a job where you are getting your JUnit or TestNG results then you do not have to do any extra setup for example in this job Selenium Test 1 that we created in the last session you can see in this uh, job I have already added the TestNG results so if I go to configure I will just show you uh, and I go to post build actions you can see in the post build actions I am publishing the TestNG results and because of that I can now directly get the option for test result analyzer so if I go to the job you can see I am already getting this option test results analyzer so you just have to get the plugin and then you should have either test engine results or JU unit results in your job and if I now click here test results analyzer you can see we have got this tabular format and I can also uh, click here to go to the details I can go to the past field and all the details so you can see this is the build numbers here so we have four builds so you can see the build number here and then for every build all the status so as of now everything is passed so you can also go to the details here like this so you can go to the details like this and then you can also go to the details of every step and every test here and if I go back to the project and go to test results analyzer and go down you can see the graphs and then you can also see the pie chart so this shows skipped and passed there is no failure as of now and then all this formats you can see I can also just uh, select if I don't want to see the pass I can click here it will not show the pass and like this I can also filter so this is going to be very useful as of now I do not have a lot of tests and a lot of runs so this is showing me a very uh, simple a single row uh, tabular structure however when you have multiple tests and you have multiple builds it will be very easy for you to show uh, to use this 
plugin and to show a consolidated format so it is very easy for you to find out which build is having a problem and what is the status of your overall test so this is how you can use test result analyzer plugin with jenkins i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching